how are we? <laughs> you alright? I do hope so. Um, right, quite a special shave for me because these are two new, well, one I've used before but it was on loan. This one has uh, been kindly gifted to me as um, this last week, or oh, this week isn't it, this is Sunday, this week, earlier this week, I um, was lucky enough to meet one of my viewers oh, and his wife, so two people, um, Stephen Scott and his uh, lovely wife. And we met them, they were on holiday in North Wales and they drove up to meet us and we had coffee and tea and I give him a couple of uh, soaps to try, thankfully he hadn't had them before. And uh, he gave me two razors and some blades, now this is one of the razors. And this, <clears throat> as you can tell there, is a Wilkinson Sword Classic. Um, I think, it's, it's a job to date these type, but um, it's in the 80s, I think, early 80s, mid 80s. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it's around there. Because I borrowed, or was loaned one by my friend Alistair, if you've watched me. I used that about four years ago, um, Wilkinson Sword. It's a two-piece razor. Non adjustable, no overhang on this. The blade's already in. Blade, right, this is what excited me. I'm going to try some, Stephen. <laughs> Wilkinson Sword, made in England. And uh, I've got the, this is because I put the blade in, it comes in this sort of purple package in there. And if you look on the back, if it focuses on it, Maybe it needs a bit of help. Made in England. Now the last British blade from Todd, from the States, from Kansas. Um, he, that it was a smooth shave, lovely blade. So I'm going to see if this is the same. Uh, could be the same blades, actually, but it's a British made. That's nice. Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to head to Germany. I'm going to use the Velida. This is in German. But um, Valida uh, shaving cream, all natural shaving cream, using pure vegetable, um, uh, no, the base is pure vegetable, uh, what is it, soap. And there's some uh, um, pure oils in it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's a nice scented, it's very, I put some in this, uh, in the captain's choice, and probably too much there. Very sort of clean, Fresh, sort of a, uh, it reminds me of a bit of lavender, aloe, that type of scent. Very nice, very fresh. So that's why they were on. So I could see something to show you. <laughs> so the blades already, I'll just, I'll undo it for you to see it. It's a very safe razor to undo. So there's the blade, the British, a bit of a flicker there, the British um, blade, brand new vintage blade and then you just have to listen to it click oh, oh it's gone straight away oh there we go and that's it nice and tight look look at the condition of it isn't that nice it's light on it's gone off right are we still lit it should be good enough right brush paul h film synthetic use that many times no need to soak it, so we lather this up. So how's Sunday going? So well, it's early days, yeah. Depends when you're watching this. Um, I hope you've had a great weekend, great week. Look at this. Easy, easy. Oh yes, lovely. Yeah, it's very. It's a sort of more lavender ish scent. I don't think there's lavender in it though. But it could be. But it's a lovely scent. Look at that, sorry where maybe too much there. Certainly not, never have too much. Yeah, Sunday already. Eh? Um Are you glad it's the weekend? That's the thing. Is there any what's the shave of the day? Thank you. And thanks again for all your shave of the days and the comments. Enjoy reading them. 
There we go, look at that. That's perfect. Right, so we'll whack this ugly mug and get on with it. Right. Oh, that's what I'm going to say. Chris CB Shaves channel. Good channel. And a work colleague of mine, different office. You were saying that it takes a long time for your videos to upload because of the internet problem. You may have had it sorted by now. If not, have you th do you work on a laptop? Have you thought of taking it to work? And when you first go in, connect up, upload, and maybe by the time you're due to go out, hey, voila, she's up and ready. <laughs> I don't know. Worth a try. Okay, here we go. Valida. Shaving cream. And lots of it. I'm not sure if I've used it before this. Because sometimes it can be years before I've used... I use products they use them a few times and then it could be a year or so before I use it again because I'm using so many different things um, but they are used again I know uh, maybe some people well especially a, re a review channel would probably use the thing once but uh, this is a shaving channel and we use what we want <laughs> oh, we are sent things to review, but uh, sorry, it's probably uh, um, any product you use um, that you film, you are reviewing it, I suppose, really, giving your thoughts on it. So we'll heat the Wilkinson Sword Classic, as I say, I think it's a 1980s release. But it's not like Gillette, like a date code thing. Well, I can't find one anyway, but um, lovely. So it's a, I think this is a coating. Um, but it's head, head, no it's not, it's handle heavy there, it's balanced, well the blade's in now, it's balanced there, so it's mm, towards the head, but it's not, uh, not, it's not directly head heavy, here we go, first pass, British Wilkinson sword blade. And it is like a sword. So smooth. Wow, that is very efficient. I can, it feels like a very, it is light, isn't it? But lighter than normal, if that makes sense, the blade. It feels light, but sharp. Uh, but you can't feel the sharpness. You can just feel the, um, it's cutting through so efficient, sort of effortless. These, I've, so it's true, it's these, these uh, I like the German Wilkinson sword. I should have used it with a soap really, but I was too excited to use this. I was going to use another product today, but I was so excited to use this and the blades. So thank you, Stephen. And again, it was a pleasure to meet you both. I really enjoyed it. Nice chatting. Even though the coffee shop started putting the light, you know, you get the hint. They don't say nothing. They just start putting lights out. And you think, oh, oh, you're closing it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is lovely. Yeah, I like the German Wilkinson sword. Well, I like the uh, Indian ones as well. After, it is Indian, yeah. But um, these are much smoother for me. And they should work in this, shouldn't they?
Yeah, so I'm hoping you're enjoying your holiday still, Stephen. And uh, you have a good rest, both of you. Enjoy your walks. Enjoy Wales. Um, and I hope you enjoy the soap. Here we go. Yeah, there's a nice slickness there, so that'll probably build. There's a nice first pass there. Here we go. So what sort of a weekend have you got planned? Anything? Chilled? Do nothing? Garden? Shopping? Visiting? Walking? Working? Many thanks, if you are. Here we go, Across the Growth, Wilkinson Sword Classic. I enjoyed using the one I was loaned, but to have one yourself, uh, like uh, Stephen was saying, the only one you need now to sort of complete the collection. Because he's given me two, this one. And I'll show you the other when I use it. That's another classic. It's um, just a flip top. There was a flip top one, and apparently they're quite rare to get hold of. Good audio feedback. And of course, with rarity comes expense, usually. What's the shave of the day? Have I asked you that? I have, yeah. Meal of the day then. MOTD. Because for me it's going to be um, pork steaks, um, steamed. Potatoes, just normal potatoes, not new potatoes, just standard. Um, some more green beans from the garden, this is H. Uh, some steamed Savoy cabbage and Lashentos of gravy. This light's gone off, has it? Batteries are going on the... <laughs> it was showing okay before. Right. So that's what, uh, that's what my MOTD is, meal of the day. It's a gorgeous, it's a very fresh... Reminds me of lavender, sort of aloe lavender, that... But a very clean scent. You could almost, you could almost make a cologne of it. Really, it's, it's nice. Very good slickness. Gets better with each application. Easy to lather, and it stays and protects. Good glide. Um, this is a, a sort of mild to mid aggression for me. Against the growth now. Um, the Wilkinson blade feels smooth and very efficient. And very audio audible. Feels nice in the hand. Good grip, you can see the sort of square knurling. Hear the wind, you hear some clack clicking.
Oh, I've got some IPA, Indian Pale Ale, some American Ale, um, sort of beer. Another one of them left. No cider today. No Carlin. Oh, Carlsberg. That's ice cold in the fridge. That's the palate cleanser and the thirst quencher. As you proceed to cook, of course. Very nice. Mmm, small, I think, we put that in there. Yeah. yeah. Funny, when I was younger, I used to hate Sunday. God, it was a long day. I don't know why, just drag, because everywhere was shut as well, there's no... Well, you can't say you missed going to shops because they weren't open on a Sunday then. Uh, used to be the same sort of thing and get up in the morning and then your job, my job was to either hoover or polish the furniture and everybody had a little job and then the meal was prepared, Sunday dinner. And then after that, everybody's too full to do anything. And then you'd have um, pudding. You used to have an apple pie, homemade. Uh, blackberry pie, if they were in season. Which we used to go for walks, picking. Um, damson pie. Stewed uh, gooseberries with cream. Uh, here's one. Blamange. <laughs> Blamange. It was like a cross between a, it was very sort of jelly, but it wasn't see-through. It was like a, I can't describe it really, but I used to like it, some didn't like it, but um, anyway, three, two, one, pick up time, Blamange baby. <laughs> Blamange, Blamange, you Google that, Blamange. And don't ask me to spell it. I can hardly say in the <laughs> Yeah. Different uh, puddings we used to call them, but desserts. My, one thing my grandmother used to make, homemade, and it was delicious, was rice pudding. And um, funny enough, we always used to fight for the skin, used to form a skin on the. Oh, fight for that. God, I could do that. I could. I'll have to make one of them rice put. Yeah. Sorry to go on off on a, a family sort of history Sunday uh, meal and Yeah, if the weather was nice, you'd go for walks. And then we'd always have to get home for a... It was always a sort of a sandwich, a salad, or spares meal in the evening. So whatever meat we had, we'd have it cold in a salad. Tomatoes or radish and lettuce and onion. And then... Um, I'm going on again, and I say... <laughs> And then uh, there'd be some programme on the radio or on TV which mother or father or grandmother wanted to watch. So 
And then Sunday was bath night. And believe it or not, once a week bath, strip down wash all week with a flannel in horrible places. Uh, but um, very nice, that. Thayer's, Thayer's Lavender. Yeah, and then uh, a bath Sunday night. Ready for school. That's nice. And then I'm going to use some Pinout Clubman Special Reserve, which I've put into this in case you're wondering. I have a bottle of that. It doesn't look like that at all. There we go. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, now you're talking classic, baby. Very nice. And uh, I'm still having tomatoes. They're coming. Can't keep up with them. The, the runner beans are just amazing. First year Mrs. H has grown them, so we'll do more of them next year. Chilies, Scotch bonnets. Uh, there's two there. There's more flowers, so there's going to be chilies into October, November, hopefully. And um, as I say, Scotch bonnets, we're using the Birch sap, and I used that for a while, the barn, L'Oreal, and uh, leeks, fantastic. I'm going to use one of the biggest ones. I think probably next week, the week after, I'll do a slow cooker of stew, lamb stew, and them in it, and oh, enough for the freezer. It's a shaving channel, Paul. Sorry. And that's it. That's me done. Beautiful shave. Um, so we'll go over what we've used. One of the sort of, well, can you call it from the 80s, vintage. Uh, Wilkinson Sword Classic with the metal cap and the metal coated, I think, or whatever. It feels quite solid though. Um, handle, really nice. So thanks again, Stephen. And the Wilkinson Sword Blade British made, uh, superb. Always feels, uh, as silly as it sounds, smoother, thinner, sharper, um, as in cutting. I don't mean feels aggressive. It's very smooth, efficient. And uh, if I had a choice, I would pick the British blades above. And I love the German blades and the Indian blades, but I prefer the German, uh, the British out a lot. Um, really nice. The old, the old ones. We've used the Valida uh, Natural Shaving Cream. Beautiful stuff, gorgeous scent, good slickness, nice scent, lathers quickly, uh, and that's it. It's only a small tube, 75ml. Uh, really nice. Those are the blades again, if you want to see the... That's that. Paul H Films DS Cosmetic Brush. Citrine Handle, Synthetic Tuxedo Knot. Captain's Choice Ball, Welsh Water to Rinse. Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel, Pinout Clubman Special Reserve Cologne, and L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Sensitive with Birch Sap Post Shave Balm. <coughs> Sorry about the interlude with the family history Sunday meal thing. I go off on one sometimes because this is what it'd be like if we were in person. <laughs> you are Stephen. <laughs> anyway, many thanks for watching. Have a great week. Great, great weekend, great weekend, and uh, some great shaves. Stay safe, happy if you can, out of this mad world, and um, nothing matters when you shave, forget everything. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So all the best, and take care.